going to start over here. Two things of these Go-Gurts. These are the ones that the kids can have kind of whenever they want. What I do with these to keep them from going bad is one goes in my fridge, one goes in my freezer, and I'll pull the other one out halfway through the month for the kids. There are 16 in each of these, so 32 Go-Gurts. Romaine hearts, these are for myself. I use these, I'll wrap stuff up in these, I'll chop these up and use them in salads. Uh, usually I get one more of these in the middle of the month. I got four of these pizza crust, uh, like Pillsbury cans. I cheat. This is what I use when I make calzones. I can make usually two calzones from each roll. So one of these are going to be for when we do calzones. And one of these are going to be for when I make pasties. Big thing of sour cream. I got a big thing last month. And I think this is what I'm going to get from now on. Of course, a thing of Dunkin' Donuts coffee. And they substituted these for me. I actually ordered just one big can of this coffee creamer. They substituted me with five, which I'm not mad about because now I can throw some of these down in my food storage. Four loaves of regular honey wheat bread. One goes in my pantry, the other three go in the freezer, and then I got one thing of Texas toast. I did this last month, and I think I'm gonna do this every month from now on because it's just super easy to pull out a couple slices and make French toast with it if we wanted, or what I did a lot last month was throw this in the oven with just butter and some cheese, and we made like cheesy bread to go with our pasta dishes. So my household products also come out of my grocery budget, so got some easy off for a video I'm doing on my second channel. I just ran out of Windex and needed some more. OxyClean, go through this every single month. A thing of citric acid for a video I'm doing on my second channel as well. That's called Teach Me How to Clean. The kids needed more shampoo. This is what we use for them. Everything, Shea Moisture. And I was out of face wash, so got a thing of that. A great value pack of paper towels just to have in the house. I went through all mine during the holidays, so that's going to go down the basement as well. I ordered two of these big things of Angel Soft. There's 18 rolls in here and they made a substitute oh, yeah. for these, which is totally fine. Just wanted to have some uh, down in the food storage because they have limits on these again and they're just getting hard to find. I tried these Great Value Flex Strong garbage bags, I think two months ago. There's 120 bags in here and I'm just now getting to the end of it. So ordered another one. These lasted really well. It's in the fresh cotton scent. That's just what they had. Uh, these are pretty good. These are $12 for 120 bags. They're 13 gallons. I love these. This is what I will be getting from now on. Three things of these Amish egg noodles. Two of these are going down in my food storage. One of these I'm going to be using this month. This is what I use when I make like homemade soups and stuff. I got a pack of these holy guacamoles for myself. I haven't gotten these in a while and I just really wanted them, so I put them on the order. I got a bag of these Tostito chips. These are with lime. They're so good. This is what I like to dip in my Spanish rice, so that's what this bag will be for. We'll obviously have leftovers, and then we'll just eat the rest of them with salsa or something, but these, I would highly recommend. These are really good. On to the bigger portion of the haul here. A thing of sliced strawberries, four pounds. We use these mostly for smoothies. The girls will eat these frozen, but not so much Colt. I think they're just a little bit big for him still. He just turned one. Family size thing of meatballs. We're doing meatball subs this month and spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. A thing of light vanilla Greek yogurt. We use these for smoothies, but me and Lakin also eat this with granola. This is three packets of turkey bacon. I have a couple recipes I'm using this for this month. I have one still in my freezer from last month, so only needed three. Three things of Italian sausage. This is mild. They had a limit on this, so they only let me get three. I really needed like four, so I'm probably gonna have to split these in half, which eh, kind of sucks, but we'll make it work. Three things of this breakfast sausage. These are the links. They had a limit on these two. I could only get three, which is fine. This will work for us. We just use these as um, an extra breakfast item on either Saturdays or Sunday mornings. I got a ginormous thing of these little like deli rolls. These are French rolls. I'm gonna divvy these up into different freezer Ziploc bags, probably in packs of six, and throw these in my freezer and then pull them out as I need them. This is what we're gonna eat our meatball subs on. We also use these for lunches. These are just really nice to have. 
for four dollars you get freshly made delicious bread so i'll freeze all of this pull it out as i need it but these smell so good two bags of this mahi mahi this is the only fish my husband likes so these are gonna be for him the rest of us are gonna eat these cod fillets this is a huge pack there's three pounds in here this will last us a couple months i got a thing of these yeast dinner rolls these are nice when I remember to pull them out to rise. There's 36 rolls in here. This will last us the month for sure. 10 pounds of these cuties. Colt eats like three of these a day. The girls love them. Me and Joe like them. So we go through these a lot. This is something we get more of in the middle of the month usually. Four things of these pizza crusts. These are thin and crispy. I actually ordered the great value ones. They substituted these. It just takes water and oil. You throw them together. It's like a homemade pizza crust. Um... I got the great value ones and they were really good. That's why I went to go order more this time. I actually make like deep dish pizzas with this pizza crust in my pie dish. And it turned out really, really good. So I wanted to do that a couple times this month and we'll see if these, I don't think it's gonna work that way with thin and crispy mix, we'll see. This might be more of a flatbread, but these are fun. These are from my husband's lunches. He likes these Nature Valley, Valley Crunch ones, and he wanted some Kind Bars. These are his favorite, the Caramel Almond and Sea Salt. This is something I swore I ordered in like the giant bag. Not this itsy bitsy little one, but this is fine. Uh, this is gonna go down in my food storage, and we'll pull it out when we want it, need it, desire it. But these are the little mini spooners. My husband wanted to do oatmeal for breakfast instead of the breakfast burritos or the breakfast sandwiches I had been making him. So I got a couple different packs for him. There are 20 packs in both of these. This is like the like creamy one or the fruit one. So there's strawberry, peaches and cream, blueberries and cream, and banana and cream. And then I also got him this one which is the apple and cinnamon, maple and brown sugar, and cinnamon and spice. I ordered these little donuts just as something nice for the kids. This is something else for my husband's lunches. However, one of my kids got into it. There are 28 bags in here. Now there are 26 because both of my children who are home right now stole some. But these are for his lunches. So I have to hide this before these all mysteriously go missing. We're doing tacos and I recently found out that a lot of my kids like these hard shells. So I ordered two boxes of hard shells. I'm just restoring these back in my food storage, these beef stews, I got four of those. Same thing with these for my food storage and ones for my pantry. These are just chicken beef, or chicken broth base. I go through that like crazy. Stew, we're doing uh, venison stew this month, so I got some of these seasoning mixes just to have. My husband loves this Cajun spice. We ran out, so I got another one for him. Another thing I thought I was ordering a bigger size of, but this is a mayo. This is something else. Once again, they substituted, so they gave me two teeny tiny ones, but these are just bacon crumbles. Um, I need more kids. Yep. I got a thing of this teriyaki marinade. This is really good. So this is going to be for a couple dinners we're doing this month. I got four cans of sloppy joe mix for the pantry. A lot of this stuff is going in food storage, so two things of lasagna noodles for food storage. I also got two four-pound boxes of spaghetti for the food storage. I have three pounds in my pantry right now, so I won't have to be stocking into these for a while. I recently realized, looking through my food storage, I had no lasagna, like no noodles whatsoever, so I wanted to focus on that this month. I got some shells. This is another substitution. I ordered the big jumbo shells. I was going to do stuffed shells. So I'm going to have to switch up my game plan. I can still make that. It's just not going to be stuffed. It'll be like a de it'll just be basically be lasagna with shell noodles, which is fine. Or I have a crock pot mac and cheese I could do with these. That would probably be really good. So one of these for the food storage. One of those is for this month. I don't know. I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with those. Two things of Fig Newtons. Colt, my one-year-old loves these so one of these is going to be for him and the other one's going to be for food storage same with the goldfish down in food storage all my kids really like these these are just peanut butter crackers this is a really good deal there's 27 packs in here and it's for like i think it's right under six bucks so i buy once 
Yeah. Yes. My husband can throw these in his lunch too, so we go through these pretty quick. Got another massive thing of spaghetti sauce for food storage. Those are the things that were hard to find when the pandemic got really bad, so I'm trying to stock up on those things. These are just frozen pancakes. I got the big ones. They have mini ones as well. These are the plain ones, but they also have blueberry and chocolate chip. These are just the ones my kids like the most. So just a quick overview of everything I'm putting down in food storage. Some of this stuff will go through this month. Some of this stuff we won't. Um, like definitely the taco shells we're not going to go through this month. I have some of those still in my pantry. These we probably will go through. Uh, but everything else, definitely not. Maybe one of these, well, definitely one of these Sloppy Joe mixes. I have some of my meal plan, but a lot of this stuff was just bulk up, hold things up, trying to fill in some of those gaps that I don't already have filled, like the, the pastas, uh, some, adding some more canned goods down into our basement that we uh, regularly go through. And the nice thing about these beef stews is you can serve these over rice or over noodles and it'll thicken it like it'll make it much more hearty or over beans. Toilet paper obviously, garbage bags, but this is just going down my freezer. We will 100% go through all of these this month. Maybe not all of these. I mean, I guess it depends how fast we can go through 24 of these delicious rolls, but if this works out in these freeze relatively well, I can see myself doing this a lot more often, especially come summertime going to the park with the kids, just pulling some of these out and making like peanut butter and jellies or peanut butter and Nutella, ham and cheese sandwiches, and then just packing up and going to the park or going to the beach for the day. I can definitely see these doing really, really well. So I'm excited to give these a try. They smell really good. I've, <laughs> I'm actually changing my meal plan a little bit for tonight. We're gonna do meatball subs because these just smell so good and so fresh. So. We're gonna do these tonight for sure, and then whatever I don't use tonight, I'll freeze.